Francisco, and I'm the commissioner for the Division of Capital Asset Management and Maintenance, also called DCAM. And we're the folks who build buildings for the state. We work with our state agencies to deliver the kind of facilities that they need. And hopefully also while we're doing that, we accomplish a bunch of other things to help municipalities, to promote energy, to do many things with one building. And that is the case here. So it is great to be here. We were calling this a groundbreaking. It's really more like a building breaking, right? Yes. But, um, uh, so um, it's great to start because this is really something to celebrate. Uh, I want to start by sending greetings from someone who really wanted to be here but couldn't. A uh, lieutenant governor, as you know, she's been here for many events around this project, and uh, she was um, quite um, happy that she couldn't join you. But so she sends her congratulations. I think she's going to be back here for another event coming. So I bet you she'll walk over here with you on that time. Um, I also want to recognize another person who sadly can't join us for this huge milestone, which is Mayor Bill Car Carpenter. Uh, one of my first meetings as a commissioner uh, was with the mayor and Nick, I think, right? Yep. You there? Yep. yep. And I promised the mayor that we would get a good outcome for this building. And he was such a wonderful partner with us on that, and I, I, I want to believe, I hope, that he is happy with the outcome that we've delivered. I mean, he was just a tremendous. Um, so, as I said in May, we'll be, we're all gathered together. Um, this is one of those times where it all just works out. Um, keeping uh, unemployment assistance in Brockton was a goal for us, but the building that they're in now doesn't, is not well suited to be a 21st century call center. So this site, a building that will meet many goals, provide great workspace for the DUA staff, offer space and a visibility for Massasoit on the ground floor, be energy efficient, we're going to have a solar array on the top, incorporate laminated wood technology, this is a first for us, this is something we're trying out, and sit comfortably on this key visible spot on Main Street. Oh, and stay on budget. <laughs> so we're asking a lot of this relatively small building, and I would say here it is punching above its weight. But um, there is, this is just one more step in what is proving to really be a remarkable story of the rebirth of uh, downtown Brockton. And you all should be very, very proud of what you are all doing together. So it takes a village to revive a city. And we're going to hear today from several people who've been leaders in that effort. And I would like to ask first um, Mayor Rodriguez to come up and say a few words. I think you all know a longtime city councilor and city council president who rose to the call of duty when they're seeing Mr. Mayor. Uh, good afternoon. I, I promised Nick that I wasn't going to say this, but I think I'm going to say it anyways. <laughs> it's about time. Uh, we have been um, we have been looking at this uh, particular facility here for quite some time now, and I'm glad that the administration finally came through to uh, to help us out here with this building in the middle of the city. Uh, as you know, this building is the first building you see when, you, when you're traveling uh, east on Belmont Street. So it's been a, uh, an eyesore for quite some time, and I'm glad that we're actually about to do something about it. Uh, and it's also part of this uh, redevelopment that we're actually looking at, the, the, the rebirth of our downtown. Uh, I've always said this, that our city is going to go as far as our downtown. If we can't show that our downtown is alive and well, I think it's kind of hard to convince everybody else that the city is doing well. So I'm glad that we are investing what we're investing in the city. I'm glad that you know it, it's nice to participate in events of groundbreaking or ribbon cutting, or in this case, uh, wrecking balling in a building. <laughs> but it's uh, it, to me, it's uh, today is a great day because it finally, finally puts to uh, to action what we've been looking for for quite some time. I have colleagues in government who are sitting here today. I don't know exactly who's supposed to introduce them, but uh, but folks that are here, both from the from city government, from the state government, we have been looking at this at this day for quite some time, and I'm glad it's here. I'm glad that that the the administration looks at at the Brockton as a viable community. I'm happy to know that Brocktonians are looking at us as a, as a city that's on the move 
and I'm uh, uh, even equally as happy that we have business uh, development and uh, business uh, involvement. Uh, developers who are looking at Brockton as the new place to be. So with that, I'm just going to pause and uh, wait for my uh, nice sledgehammer that should be coming uh, momentarily. But again, I just want to thank everybody for being here today and being a part of this. Uh, this is a great day for downtown, a great day for Brockton. Okay, good. Um, uh, so um, uh, next, I want to ask uh, Rick Jeffers, who is uh, the director of the Department of Unemployment Assistance, to come up and speak. He's been at DUA 20 years. I just found out you're a lawyer. So um, we've been joking that Rick, um, we've been working with him and his team for over the course of the design period, and um, we feel like he's become a member of the BCAMP family. So we love having you as our partner. Please come up and say words. Right. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for that introduction. Thank you, Mr. Gladstone. Yes, we're becoming uh, fast friends. So today is another uh, terrific and really exciting uh, milestone for this project. Um, from the outset, uh, I should tell you that we, we at DUA have enjoyed some really terrific uh, partnerships on this work. Been at this for a while. The, uh, the city of Brockton has been tremendous, um, so welcoming and supportive. Um, there you go. Um, at DCAM, our colleagues have been great to work with, and uh, Gail and Barry are sitting here today, have become part of our team, uh, Commissioner. Um, Jones Architecture, the architect that's working on this building, has been, they have been awesome. Uh, I know Rick Jones couldn't be here today, but there's some members of his team. And we're really excited about the, the future partnership we're going to be forging with, with uh, President Glickman in, in Massasoit Community College. Um, so looking forward to that and getting to know you a little bit better. For us, uh, this work and this building at, at DUA, um, we recognized pretty early on that this was going to be uh, an opportunity to have a really transformative event for our agency. Um, it's not every day that you get an opportunity to, to be involved in something like this you can affect real change in a, such a tangible, visible way. Our team, um, we have about uh, somewhere around 86 people right up the street right now working hard um, for our agency. They are so thrilled uh, at the prospect of, of moving into a new uh, state-of-the-art building. Uh, in fact, I get asked pretty consistently, uh, when, when should we pack our boxes? <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but uh, it, while the work that we do uh, at DUA is so important and, and our team is so valuable to us, ultimately what DUA does is, is we serve. We serve the public. Our primary mission is to deliver unemployment insurance benefits to all of the workers. Uh, that's what we do. Uh, so while the new building um, that we're so excited about will, will improve our working conditions for our team, uh, we really think that through some smart design, the way we've designed our program, internally inside the building, that we can deliver uh, even better services than where we are right now. Um, as we look forward as an organization, um, delivering benefits timely and accurately will forever be part of our mission. But we're really thinking more aspirational and thinking about things in terms of how do we get those individuals that need our services, not just from job loss to first benefit payment, but from job loss to job gain and really taking a more customer-centric uh, approach to how we do our business, which is where we believe this, this partnership with Massasoit Community College can come in uh, as another partner where we can really work together to achieve uh, what the people of this community and the surrounding community really need from us. So it's really exciting. Um, going forward here, I do want to recognize uh, you know, there's been a lot of work that has led up to today. Um, there's been a lot of meetings in a windowless room um, with a lot of decisions to be made. Uh, I want to recognize here a couple of members of my team, if I may. Uh, Wendy Savory is here, uh, has braved the cold uh, to be here today. Uh, Edia Royal Barrows is here. Uh, and uh, Marie Lee Sabande couldn't be here today. She's, she's working elsewhere. Uh, have poured their heart and soul into this work. Um, we have spent a lot of time making sure that we deliver the very best building that we can for this city. Um, and we, we're confident that uh, the city of Brockton will be proud of, of what we've done uh, here. So thank you so much for allowing us to be part of this. We really appreciate it. So when 
and I'd say sometimes it all works out. Sometimes it really works out. Um, we had planned early on that the ground floor of this building was going to be what we called community space. And it was just a label on a, a square on a plan because we really didn't know it was going to go in there. And boy, did we get lucky with the new president of Massasoit Community College, who's somebody who's um, a background in the arts, uh, I think has has had experience in bringing uh, programs into a downtown, and we're very excited about how the college will be using this space. So I'd like to ask Dr. Gina Bookman to come up. This is so exciting. <laughs> I, I don't know if any of you know what the word cabelling means. Any Jews in the audience? <laughs> so, so when so something's compelling, it's like overly emotional and exciting, and um, you really don't have words for it. That's kind of how I feel, um, having been brought into this community. And I see my Dan here and other people that I and, and a new friend um, who actually spoke at my inauguration, the, the mayor. Um, Carol's been incredibly welcoming. The team from DCAM, the architects, my staff. One of the things this has done for the college is reinvigorate us and, and allow us to think about what opportunities we have um, to help bring educational opportunity to the city, um, to help bring the arts downtown, to, um, to have people at the college really thinking very creatively about the kinds of programs and the kinds of services that they would like here, and in partnership with the community. And that is something that's sort of near and dear to my heart. And it is the thing that kind of keeps my energy going, um, is to figure that out. So I know everybody wants to know what that's going to look like. And we've had lots of discussions um, with the business community and with some of my educational partners. And there are a couple of opportunities in the chamber. Um, there are a couple of opportunities that we're throwing around now. We know that we're going to be doing, we hope, some renovation on campus. So initially, we might be using the space for regular, what we call swing space, classroom space. But we're also volunteered to help support the Brockton Partnership, which is a group of business leaders and community leaders. And, the, and in order to do that, we might have that presence at that site as well. We're also talking with one of the high schools um, that that wants to engage with us in dual enrollment kinds of programs and grant opportunities. And those, so they're looking, they're interested. You don't know what you've started. <laughs> you, you really, the amount of energy and opportunity um, is just amazing. But we do know that we're reinvigorating our continuing ed, corporate continuing ed program. And so we expect, we're building a computer lab in one of the classroom spaces. We expect to be using that space primarily for workforce development programs and to support the business community. Those are the kinds of programs that I've been, uh, Commissioner mentioned in the past where the, especially the business community around here that needs certain skills or needs to be engaged, that space can become that kind of shared space and be responsive to the needs here. So I am thrilled to have been asked. Um, somebody said, that, and, and to um, pay homage to, the, um, to Bill Carpenter because he came to me and he said, we've tried to get you to come downtown, before, not me, <laughs> I was only here maybe a week. Um, we tried to get the college to come downtown in the past, and we just couldn't make it work. Can you do this? And I said, of course I can do this, having no clue <laughs> really how that was going to fly. But um, I know how important our institution and in education is um, overall, and particularly for this community and the people that we serve. So I am very anxious to work in partnership to um, make this happen for all of us. So yay. Um, so, um, uh, lastly here, I would like to ask the uh, uh, new mayor to, uh, incoming mayor, how do I call you, what do I, what's the appropriate name? Mayor Lack. Mayor Lack. Mayor Lack. Mayor Lack. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I don't normally do the hosting. <laughs> you can tell. Um, 
who I uh, know is a native son of Brockton. Yes. And um, you've been on the city council for quite a while. I also read that you are basically you're a three season youth sports coach. Yes. Is that right? There you go. I'm not a good coach, but I'll <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the best kind. Yeah. Anyway, we're thrilled um, to have you join us. Thank you. Thank you for your Thank First of all, I want to recognize State Representative Jerry Cassidy, my colleagues, thank you. My city council colleagues, Councilor Jack Lally, Councilor Ann Beauregard. Two new colleagues joining the city council, Rita Mendez, Jeffrey Thompson. We can't forget our, our city planner, Rob May. Director of the BRA, Robert Jenkins. This is a great day for Brockton. It really is. I mean, if you look at where this building is situated, it's in a prime piece of real estate in the core of the downtown Route 123. This is going to be state of the art. This is going to be beautiful. This is really going to be a pinnacle point for the city of Brockton. It's going to increase uh, foot traffic. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful collaboration with Mass Sawyer, long overdue. Um, and, and ultimately, it's going to be a really good thing. It's $29.7 million investment in the city of Brockton. Right now, Brockton downtown is poised for $190 million invested in 2019. Uh, and there's people that have been here a long time. Joe Angelo, John Marion, these are people that didn't leave Brockton. Joe Ganley, Bill Ganley. I knew Mr. Ganley. He was a good man, son of Brockton. And he's going to be proud right now, as is the late Mayor Bill Carpenter. This is what Brockton's about. Investment in the core, and I want to thank. I want to thank, the I want to thank Governor Baker, Lieutenant Governor Polito. We need to keep continuing the investment in downtown. It's what's going to better Brockton. More importantly, the collaboration from both private and public sector. That's what's going to make Brockton move forward, and it is going to move forward. If you think about what Brockton has, if it was a stock, we should all buy it. <laughs> we really should. The asset of the people. But geographic-wise, 35 minutes to South Station, three commuter rails, and the asset of the people of Brockton. So again, I want to thank the Commissioner. I want to thank everybody. This is a proud day for Brockton. Thank you all. Thank you. No, we, um, our, our next uh, opportunity is to think about what's going to happen with the current um, office, 36 Main Street, where that's going to be exciting, too. So I would like to close by recognizing um, some people who have gotten us to this milestone, um, and particularly the project team, so that you guys know who these folks are, so that you can um, talk to them, and if things go awry, you can come. <laughs> 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 so, um, I first want to recognize and give a big shout out to Nick. If you can condone. <laughs> Just, you've been a great partner, and um, we love working with you, and thank you. I also want to give a shout-out to Rob, May, same thing. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful to come to City Hall and have people really help you get to where you need to get to, so we, we so appreciate that. Um, next, I want to welcome our construction manager, uh, the new the new guys on the block, uh, Bond Brothers. Uh, they're kind of gathered out there in the back. They, Their last project that we they did for us for the state was um, a renovation in Taunton for uh, uh, beds for women who were suffering from substance use disorder, and it was an incredibly complicated project. They did work in less than a year. We got these beds online, which is phenomenal. Even in, in the state, it's uh, mind blowing. Um, so we thought, well, that was hard, but let's try something harder. So, <laughs> so we're thrilled to have them here. Uh, Dave Capaldo is here. Uh, Jonathan Rossini and uh, Patrick Joyce, the superintendent, who I said it's all going to be tapping on him. So um, thank you guys. It's great to have you on this project. I also want to recognize the folks from Jones Architecture. I know Rick isn't here. Um, Mark is here, right? Yes. Mark Harris. Yes. Yes. Uh, Greg Bouchard is a technical advisor, I don't know if he's there, and Jake Springer. Um, and finally, my team at DCAM, uh, Gail Rosenberg, who is yeah. the director of planning for whom she reports is Robin Luna, who's not here today. Um, 
Mary Heike, who is the construction project manager. He's going to make this happen. <laughs> Jeff Friedis, the project engineer. Same thing, Jeff, where are you? <laughs> Munir Germani, who is the uh, director of this group with construction, and I know Munir is Munir somewhere here. Sure, you. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Munir uh, Germani. And then uh, Marco Agostino, he's our resident engineer. He was also on Taunton. So, Marco, it's great to have you on this project. Too. <laughs> so, um, I think we're done with the formal part of the remarks. Um, we, um, I think as people have alluded, we don't have shovels to um, <laughs> dig dirt with, but we actually have hammers to metaphorically, right, <laughs> camera the building. So I think, Matt, we're going to go around to the front to do that so we can actually be standing in front of the facade of the building that's coming down. So again, I want to thank everybody. This is an amazing turnout for an event like this in the uh, middle of the day, and it just speaks to how wonderful Brockton has been to work in and with, and we look forward to continuing that relationship. So thank you.